right, coming up next, ah, uh, yes, a women's strawweight matchup between Tisha Torres and Alex Chambers. Good to see this young woman back making the walk to the octagon tonight. I will be surprised, Joe, if she gets put on her back here tonight. Her takedown defense, arguably the best in this division. Great balance, solid base, beautiful sprawl, very quick with her feet. And for a lot of women, they spend so much time trying to get her down and fail that they don't have much left offensively when you hit the latter rounds of the fight. Gotta try to outstrike this woman tonight. You're probably not taking her down. This girl is one of the most frightening kickers in this division. Ruthless knockout power in her legs. She kicks fast, she kicks hard, and she has a full arsenal of kicking technique to rely upon. When they land, they land with devastating impact. Well, if you've seen this young woman hit a speed bag, shades of Floyd Mayweather, the hand speed is absolutely insane. And I think for a lot of women who fight her, they feel like as long as they're precise with their timing and they're efficient and accurate, they can avoid the hands. But more often than not, you just can. And even though she doesn't necessarily have the biggest knockout power in the division, the hand speed, downright scary. This girl has ridiculous hand speed. It is one of her best assets and one of the most terrifying things. She can hit you before you can hit her. And she can also get out of the way before you can hit her. It's a terrifying thing fighting someone who has the kind of hand speed that she possesses. Our tale of the tape for this strawweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age with similar height and some differences in reach. Here once more, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of five friends, five losses. She stands five feet three inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Sydney, Australia, Alex Estrogon Chambers. And now into this corner, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of ten wins, three losses. She stands five feet one inch tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Coconut Creek, Colonna, Tisha, the Tiny Tornado, Torres. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Eve Loveday. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. All right, ready to go with live action here from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. Nice outside leg kick there. Beautiful combination. Big kick, but miss. That one hurt. Effective punch there by Torres. Really swung for the fences with that hook, but misses. Oh! Well, she whiffs on the straight right hand. Nice leg kick. Oh, big shot. <laughs> Torres gets caught by that straight punch, or so it appeared, Joe. And there's another one. Well, she left her head wide open there, Joe, and she pays for it as the head kick lands up top. Got to figure out a way to get that head off the center line and make some adjustments here, or the end of this fight could come in the not-too-distant future. She's going back to that patented straight right hand, unable to connect. Back and forth we go here! Punch by Chambers. Well, she's got a good jab. Miss with it there. Oh, she found the target there. That'll work. Nice one two there. Inside leg kick lands. Very good job of timing these shots here. Chambers kick to the body. That one blocked. 
Oh. Under three minutes remain in round one. Nice leg kick. Very nicely done. Pretty strong jab there by Chambers. And she misses with the left punch there. And she gets a single leg takedown. Chambers gets caught with that punch. Posture's up here. Half guard. She transitions to full guard. Looking for a triangle, throws one leg over the shoulder. She's got this submission locked. Just over two minutes left. And she's out of the submission. Chambers gets up and is back on her feet. Very nice. Well, she ate the straight hand there, and she's got to be careful now, Joe. I know she wants to be aggressive and set up her own offense, but she left the head wide open for damage there. Well, that one should be the mark. Outstanding. Once again, she's got double underhooks. Boy, Ty clinch here, Joe, could be trouble. Big punch. Yes. Torres gets tattooed by that stiff jab. How about that shin? Chambers gets hit with a kick. That looked like it hurt you. Again, going back to the well with the jab. Good job of timing strikes here. Oh, caught her with the head kick. And now that jab starting to get established. Oh, a nice inside leg kick landed there by Chambers. Big Huge left, left hand. hand. She is brawling for sure. Oh. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Lanza, glancing right hand upstairs. Straight right hand, but she misses. It appears that cut is getting worse. Oh, nice. Torres going for the takedown, nothing doing there. There's a nice knee to the bottom. Well, she whiffs on the straight right hand. Horn sounds for the end of round one. Let's take a look at some of the action from that round. Here's a vicious kick that results in a knockdown. Let's take a look at that again. Let's see it one more time. Carly Baker in the building tonight, thank you very much. some body shots looking to establish the jab here nicely done by Torres well without much resistance she continues to find a home for that jab splits the guard perfectly just like she did in the previous round circling to her right the fence by Chambers. The left hook hits home. Chambers' lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. 
Wow! This could be it right here. Oh, that head kick left. Oh, big left. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Oh! Oh! What a leg kick. Well, she got cracked to the head there, Joe. She continues to be vulnerable to that strike by leaning in, almost moving into the strike at this point in time. She's got to get her head off of that center line. Back and forth we go! Oh, beautiful leg kick by her there. Can't take too many of those. Lands a jab. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Very nice kicks. Chambers' leg appears to be hurt here, Joe. That is an obvious limp. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Oh! Nice kicks. And she's down! Nice leg kick there by Torres. Struggling for position in the clinch. One underhook here. Torres gets double underhooks, Joe. Oh, now she's got that tight clinch. Appreciable damage could be coming. Big shot to the head. She's hurt. She is stunned. This could be it. Attempts a big hook to the head, but misses. Oh, head kick! Oh, continues to land those jabs at will. Nice way to keep the opponent at distance. Fighters back to their feet here. Doing a nice job working that inside leg kick. Torres gets caught by that straight punch. You gotta do better than that defensive. Whenever you see a fighter's legs stiffen up like that, that's not a good sign. Straight to the body by Chambers. Huge kick misses. Nice side kick. Oh, she's really starting to put together some significant body shots here, attacking both sides now. Exactly. How about that shin? Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Chambers gets stung by that leg kick. Back and forth we go. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Man, high volume. Oh! Right huge hand. right hand! This could be it right here. Big shots! Oh! Huge shot there, Lance Flush! Visibly limping here. 30 seconds to go. Nice defense there. She blocks the shot, Joe. Oh! Another shot lands upstairs. Oh! Ten seconds to go here. Let's see what happens. She's going back to that patented straight right hand, unable to connect. All right, round three coming up next. All right, so that's the end of the round, and we'll see how she deals with this cut on her cheek. It is not getting better, ladies and gentlemen. I guess that goes without saying. The cut man will try to nip it in the bud and prevent it from becoming more of a factor here moving forward. Let's take a look at it from a different angle. Stay sharp. Don't get suckered into that crap. I want you to get up. The beautiful Brittany Palmer with us. You ready? You ready? Third round underway. Well, she has stayed aggressive, Joe, but she has also been efficient. This is a world class display of striking we are witnessing tonight. Nice 
nice leg kick. And she's down. Oh, oh. that one dropped her. She's stacking her now. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. Beautiful body, body shot. shot there, too. Vicious, vicious punch combinations here. Back up. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. Oh, she landed another strike to the body there. Very smart to work that body late in the fight with her nervous fatigue. You didn't see a lot of that from her earlier in the fight. She is certainly getting after it now. Wow, what a kick. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, oh. from the bottom. Well, she's forced to eat another straight punch here, Joe, and now she has really got to be careful because she is moving in there unguarded, and despite the fact that she's very confident in her chin, she has become a sitting duck, and I'm not sure how many more of these straight punches she can absorb. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Under three minutes now to go in this third and final round. Cut, but fell short. Oh! This could be it right here. Hard straight punch. Wow! Oh! Big straight punch. Oh! What a leg kick! Vicious combo there! Really swung everything into that kick, but fell short. Avoids the clinch here. Chambers leg appears to be hurt here, Joe. That is an obvious limp. Tries some serious power in that kick, but misses. Oh, she got stunned again. This could be it. Now goes in and secures the takedown. We got for the arm. We got for the arm. Joe doing a nice job here, staying busy from the bottom. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Chambers. Big body punch. And the referee brings the fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. to the body there, Joe, right underneath her elbow, right underneath that guard, but it almost looks as though she's moving right into it. So until she makes the adjustments, you can figure her opponent is going to continue to attack that area. Roundhouse kick lands. Less than a minute now to go in the fight. Great exchanges. Nice combination of strikes there by Chambers. Well, she has landed some very significant strikes here tonight. That is the good news. The bad news, more often than not, Joe, it's been one and done. She's not stringing her combinations together the way she has done in previous UFC appearances. Let's see if her corner can help her adjust and try to get an uptick in the volume. Excellent movement here on the ground. Nice punch to the body. Gets up again here, but hurting. Nice. There's that side kick. Chambers cut is only getting worse here, Joe. Man, is that thing bleeding. Oh, she landed a good series of strikes there. Brutal leg kick. kick. That's it. The fight's over. Big TKO win late in the fight.
Yeah, it was that one big strike that started it all, the beginning of the end, you could say. And I think the referee made the right call stepping in here. There was the knockdown, and then she beautifully followed up with strikes to make sure that the end would come shortly thereafter. So I think everybody did their job except for the defensive fighter, who at the very least will live to fight another day. And here we see it from a different angle. So a seminal moment in her young career here tonight as she gets the win by TKO. That is how you make noise and make a statement to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 59 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by TKO, Tisha, the tiny tornado time. So there she is, ladies and gentlemen, after the big TKO win here tonight. Her big focus coming in was to get that stoppage victory. She said, I got to keep the judges out of it at this point in time in this division. Winning isn't necessarily enough. I got to do so with style points. Well, mission accomplished on that front. And now the celebration is on. What a moment between pupil and teacher and training partners. One of the best parts of this sport to see these athletes exhale after a big victory as she got tonight. Yeah, homie G, the code MC, rolling deep to your vicinity. Yeah. I just had an epiphany, I don't know what it did to me, but I'm hoping the devil doesn't get into me. Yeah. Still a beast, hoops. It is me, it's finna be off the chain with a brand new delivery. Yeah. Try to get in my way, to fill in the rage, to sit in my brain, and then I blast you to smithereens. Please, I'll be damned if I'm thrown on the back burner. Maniac.